Uh, so Garen Thomas, boom! GT wins the Tour de France. I mean, I said Froome was going to win it. And hey, let me get my sugar water. Uh, I said Froome was going to win. And Froome, uh, oof. I mean, he's a, Chris Froome is a champion. Chris Froome is a champion. You think of all the the haters and the people spitting on him, throwing eggs at him, cops grabbing him fucking by the arm, ranking him off his bike, people throwing piss at him. People just throwing urine at him. You know, like it's one thing to boo and hiss, but to spit and throw piss, that's just unacceptable. What are you doing at the Tour de France if you're going to spit and piss on fucking riders, man? That's just shit. And, oh, dude, Chris Froome's a doper. It's like fucking everyone in the fucking front pack is fucking on the gear, man. You really think you can ride six watts per kilo after two weeks of racing, five hours a day? Like, what the heck? You know, so you got to spit on Chris, you got to spit on everyone. Better yet, just stay fucking home. Just go and watch fucking football or fucking rugby or something. Some redneck sport, you know? Like, fuck, man, spike racing. Champions dope, all right? Your soccer player's fucking dope. Your, well, your rugby player's dope. <laughs> You gotta pick on Chris Froome because he's because he's a little whippet of a cyclist. You think Peter Sagan's doing it, Natty? Fucking hypocrites. Anyway, it it, it is if you're gonna give cycling uh, pro cyclists crap, stay at home. You know you can't just single out Chris Froome for asthma puffer and then let everyone else ride past. You know, Adam Yates got caught for asthma puffer over the limit. So did Simon Yates, one of the Yates brothers. Um, You'll see, Pataki. You know, people have been caught for asthma puffers before. So if you're gonna you're gonna spit on anyone, you got to. But this is what? People are just taking a drug to do their fucking job. Why does that deserve? How does that affect you? How, how, you know, like spitting on someone because they're doing a drug to give you a better entertainment value of the sport you're watching for free on the side of the road. They're flying up the mountain at mutant pace. So you can have entertainment. Go, wow, that was pretty crazy. I like watching mutant riders go on the hill. I don't want to. I don't want to watch riders my ability. That's like I, I, that's me. I can do that. I want to watch riders who are fucking freakazoids on this crazy level oxygen vector doping program that's putting people in fucking outer space. NASA level drugs. Shit, the Lance Armstrong. These guys are faster than Lance Armstrong now. If Lance Armstrong, if two thousand and four. Or 2003 or 2001, Lance Armstrong was in the Peloton now. He'd maybe finish 20th, I reckon. He would get flogged. Richie Port, Sky Domestique, did a faster time up the Madone climb. Colder than the Madone. Richie Port's faster than Lance Armstrong, right? And Richie Port's a good rider. He's really good. And he's faster than Lance Armstrong. But he doesn't win shit. You know what I mean? That's how hardcore the level is. And that's not, that's not me giving a flack to Richie. Because our little band top course road that time, and I, I think uh, he just he just didn't he had uh, some assumptions in his head. That I was going to troll him. What that was, I was just going to show. I was gonna, that video where Richie said, "Get off my wood hunt." That video was. I just wanted to film like a world class climber, the cadence, the technique, and stuff like that. So Richie saw me on his wheel, and he probably thought I was going to do some troll. And he's like, "Fuck off!" So yeah, I think that's all clear. I think Richie understands what the deal was. But um, you know, so Richie Port is faster than Lance Armstrong, and Richie Port is never going to win the Tour de France. Yeah. But he's faster than Lance Armstrong. That's how hardcore these guys really are. And people say, oh, the, the times up out the ways are different. No, no, you can't compare that. Because it's race differently, different weather, different control of the race. Just, you can't compare a Tour de France out the ways time. It doesn't, you know what I mean? You can't even really compare what's per kilo. Because it'd be race at different levels. And if you go out the ways and put nine minutes into everyone else, then people are going to go, okay, you, you, know, you, you can't do that anymore. I mean, in the jury you can, but the Tour de France you can't. Even Chris Froome did 80k solo breakaway, only did three minute margin, which is impressive. But you know, so if Chris Froome broke away at 30k's in, he probably would put 10 minutes in them. Who knows? Who knows? But what I'm saying is, these guys are so much stronger. Garen Thomas is faster than Lance Armstrong. All right. So if you're gonna boo and hiss anyone, then just just Go. Just go from the sport, man. You're just, you're a fucking dummy. You're a noob. You're an amateur. You're gullible as fuck. If you think that Chris Froome and Lance Armstrong are the only two people in the world at professional sport who take pharmaceutical products. And even then, people's reaction of Chris Froome, spitting at Chris Froome because he took an asthma puffer. You know what I mean? Oh, puffy Froome. It's like, what do you mean? Like, that, 
But you fucking eight year old kids taking an asthma puff on sports day. You gonna spit at them? You gonna spit at little Johnny and Janie? You gonna you gonna turn up to little track meets with eight year old kids and spit at them? Oh, you kids are fucking dope for using a puffer. They don't have a TUE. They're just trying to fucking do their sport. You try and ride at four hundred fifty watts. Everyone's got fucking asthma at 450 watts. Everybody's got asthma at 7 watts per kilo. Everyone's got anemia at 7 watts per kilo and a bit of blood boosting is going to help. Anyways, I, I, I totally understand that everyone at the top is juicing to the fucking gills. There's a, a next level program. They've got next level product out there now. I get it. It's fine. Fine with me. Come on, you're a hypocrite. You support drug users. No, I don't support it. I get it. I accept it. I understand it. It's here. You know I get it. I'm, I'll be curious to what they actually use and what the parameters are. I'd find that quite interesting. Human body, stuff like that. Do I think it's healthy? Who knows what consequences that level of fitness has later in life. Who knows? Uh, but these people aren't thinking that. If you're if you bombing downhill, you can't think like that. You're doing 110k an hour down an alpine descent in France with a fucking ice cream lid with 200 grams of styrofoam on your fucking head from China and a little super light fucking Mardi Gras lycra outfit on. You can't be thinking about the future too much. Because if you do, you won't get on your won't get on your bike in the morning. So anyway, drugs, all sports, all champions, Usain Bolt, swimmers, Michael Phelps, everyone, juice the fucking girls. Hot sauce. Beyond hot sauce, all right? You spit or throw piss at Chris Froome, you're a fucking hypocrite, you're a dickhead, you're a dummy. Go and play fucking Monopoly game or something, yeah. Of a loser friends. Anyway, so Garen Thomas won. Chris Room. Why did Chris Room lose the Tour de France? That's the title of the video. He lost the Tour de France. I feel well, we don't really know why he lost because we don't see the power data. If we could see everyone's power data and the, what where the morning weight was, then we could go. Okay, so Chris Froome's this is his usual watts per kilo, and so what he's at now. Was he better? Was he worse? Well, those guys just better. You know, we don't know. But what we do know is he won the Vuelta. He won the Tour de France. He won the Vuelta. He won the Giro, and he's going to come back for the fourth. <laughs> like what the Giro Tour double it's like he's done the triple man people aren't you know Chris Froome won the Tour de France last year didn't he he won the Velta didn't he he won the Giro didn't he he's done three he won three fucking races in a row and he would have won this year he had that crash lost time and who knows how much pain he was in he's not the sort of guy I've ridden with Chris Froome a few times and I found him very very non-pretentious I know fucking I know people who can do not something 20 minutes of who are massively potential. I know people who buy a map jersey or a Rafa socks, and within 24 hours, they're Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Miss Potentious. <laughs> I know people who buy a carbon bike and think it's some license to be a potentious wanker. Uh, but anyway, Chris Froome, very down to earth, uh, very approachable, and so can Gary Thomas as well, very approachable guys. So I would say that they're, you know, they're on, they're on a great program. And but what, here's the thing, why, why Chris Froome, why Chris Froome is such a champion is he didn't even know he was going to do the Tour de France. After this whole Velta thing, they didn't know they were going to do the Tour de France. But he still put his effort in there, did whatever he had to do, got the team doctor, get everything, everything organized, all the logistics, the sacrifice, his, his wife's having a baby, you know. I would have preferred he adopt some little Kenyan kid, but, you know, when I think about that. But anyway, so his wife's having a baby, that's a lot of stress. You've got people spitting at him, pissing at him, but he's still banging out six and a half, seven watts per kilo at the climbs. Yeah, so he's, and no fuss, no grizzles. The only thing I heard from Chris Froome was a fuck you at a cop who fucking ripped his shoulder off his bike, you know. So anyway, so that Garen Thomas um, did a great outstanding performance. I remember riding with Garen a few years ago and um, I was hitting on summit and then I saw him up ahead. I was like, oh, was, you know, I'll jump on the back. And so I was doing 450 watts to catch up. Garen Thomas is pulling away from me. And I'm like, hang on, power meter broken? Essentially, I was doing 450 watts to close the gap. And he's pulling away, you know, in team car, just maybe 20 meters in front, up Norton Summit, early morning, just by himself. And I was like, whoa, that's some fucking serious launching power there. Um, so, yeah, that was, yeah, that's pretty impressive. That's the start of the climb. So, and really good form as well, just like, is that Garen Thomas sort of jigs on the bike a bit. So, um, Lance Armstrong talking about ketones and shit. I, I, I mean, I rate Lance Armstrong. Um, and I, I appreciate he has to uphold the emerita still. I get that. But it would be great to have discussion with Lance Armstrong behind the scenes, off camera. And say, Lance, what do you think they're using now? And why are they faster than you? That would be really cool. And Bernard Hinault. I think Bernard Hinault's got a lot to answer for. The dudes gave... 
the Tour de France a shit vibe this year. You know, another rider trashing another rider. Internationally, public level, Tour de France, encouraging the French to boycott. The, it's like, what? Bernardi, no, you are a doper as well, bro. And you are the biggest badger hypocrite. You've totally lost respect in my eyes and many people's eyes because you weren't a Tour de France winner clean. You weren't. Um, so to criticize Chris Froome, it, it's just because just he's getting some French tail podium girls and you're not anymore. So it's just like, fuck, man, you know, that's, that's disappointing. So Bernard, you know, hopefully the ASO sacked his ass and he's got a job to clean the bikes at local. <laughs> hopefully Bernard's got a job cleaning Peugeot bikes at the old French bike shop because he doesn't have a job. He doesn't belong in the Tour de France, you know, PR, trash and Froome like that, in my opinion. And that was about the recap. So I was wrong. But I was right. Um, Chris Froome had stiff competition. He had the uncertainty. He had all the fans to deal with. Who knows if Chris Froome didn't have that level of resistance, would he done better? You know, what was his power like? So you know, would like to see that. But um, maybe he just didn't know if you know if he should win the Tour de France. Who knows? Who knows what's going on through his head? But I, I feel if Chris Froome had that clean slate, with no fans giving him shit, spitting, pissing on him, whatever, then he would have a better chance. So. Stood it really, really well. Um, and I think it was another factor as well was I didn't know, this is me making excuses now, I didn't know the Tour de France only had like one, they had what, like one time trial in it now? Like a 31k time trial? Like, is that true? I had one time trial this year? Like, I didn't know that. That's weird. And that 65k stage, like, I don't feel like it was a real Tour de France this year. You know, it was a Tour de France. It was a real Tour de France. It wasn't the real, real Tour de France. It was the time trials and the more epic mountain stages. It seemed like it was an easy Tour de France. Maybe it was a normal one, Chris Froome would have done better. Either way, Garen Thomas got the win. He'll be stoked with that. Uh, very approachable guy. Good for cycling as well, Chris Froome. Team Sky's been great for cycling in general. Um, Garen Thomas, quite approachable guy from, in my personal experience. Anyway, that's the recap. Those guys carved up. Um, and uh, we had some dietary discussions with them. I think it was last year, wasn't it? Right with them, this year? I can't remember. But uh, that was another video. Anyway. Tour de France done and dusted. Gary Thomas wins. Another sky rider, track rider, winning Tour de France. Pretty fucking impressive. Cadence for the win. Spin the di riagganciarsi ma Elanda sicuramente a stoppare l'attacco di Pozzo Vivo ed è stato un dominio incontrastato fin dalle primissime fasi di corsa dei corridori del Team Sky ed è Geraint Thomas che sta pedalando in solitudine al comando seguito da Landa staremo a vedere se Thomas ha ricevuto ordini di scuderia particolari per quanto riguarda questo finale non sembra essere così primo Geraint Thomas secondo Michel Landa terza posizione per Domenico Pozzo Pozzo Vivo, che giornata per il Team Sky 35 816 di media eh, finale per questa tappa. Quindi arriva Pier Rolland, arriva il leader Pinot, è arrivato anche Buchmann che ha preceduto Cela. Carbs, carb the fuck up, motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up, corn, rice, potatoes, yams, bananas, mangoes, steaks, plantain, melons, blueberries, blackberries, moles. Get them motherfucking carbohydrates in. Go vegan, motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up.